this space in the living room, but I'm excited because I'm going to use one of my brushes that's on my new AliciaEnglish.com site. I'll put all the information in the description box. But I'm using my favorite brush from my new collection, Buffalo Plaid Paintbrushes. Yes, please. If you want to get some of your own, you can follow the link. There's a lot of different collections on there, but these are perfect for home renovations as well as DIY projects. Okay, let's finally paint up this living room space. The living room is looking so good. It's looking so good. I come down the stairs today and see that the living room is like 95% done. Just need to put everything back in. It's such a rewarding feeling. So I'm really happy that it's almost finished, finally. Why have we not been outside skiing? Come on. So you guys saw that about a week and a half ago, Philip and I were tirelessly working through the night. Forget the kids, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Trying to sneak and get this skating rink ready for the boys in time to be able to surprise them for Christmas and be able to use it over the Christmas holidays. The boys saw the rink that we all set up first thing the next morning and they were freaking out. It was so much fun. And we were so excited that it was supposed to be cold temperatures to freeze up over the next couple of days, but that didn't happen. Our huge Nova Scotia storm warning ended up being the biggest windstorm we have had yet here in Nova Scotia and it blew down I would say about 70% oh, yeah. of everything that Philip and I built <sighs> and it was just an absolute disaster. So Philip and Chase together actually while Dayton and I were getting everything ready for Christmas, the Christmas dinner and everything, they came out in the freezing cold in the daytime one afternoon and set everything back up and started filling the rink. Yeah. And you're going to be surprised at what it looks like right now because we have only had really warm plus temperatures it's like eight degrees right now today is actually eight degrees and tonight is supposed to be one overnight so we have not had any cold nighttime or daytime temperatures to freeze the ring super disappointing and we actually are being told based on our 14 day trend here for the weather that we have another almost 11 days of really warm days and evenings before we're gonna get maybe about three days of cold yeah so we're not really sure what's gonna happen with the ring but this is mostly rainwater some of the back corner was what we already flooded, but because it has been so mild, it just keeps dripping through because this is obviously, even though it's an ice rink tarp, it is still porous. So when it sits for several days, you start losing little bits of water. And a lot of this kind of accumulated last night because we had so much rain overnight. Oh yeah. So disappointing. Very but disappointing, but. We are optimistic that later January, like come mid January, February, March here, we have super late winters apparently in Nova Scotia. So yeah, we're still we don't know. hoping that we can get this all filled up and frozen, but there's no point in us filling it any further at this point until we know we have a few days of cold right ahead of us or we're just gonna keep losing water again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only face I can make. I'm, I'm so excited about the ring because I know we're going to get it there at some point. And if we don't, we tried and not everything works out, but everything's built the way it needs to be. We just don't have the temperature. Like I could be outside right now in a t-shirt, no problem. It's yeah. literally eight degrees right it's now. It's really nice. It's foggy. It I think, all night. I think right now is a good time for you to go and do a polar bear dip. Let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Be filled with smoke And 
that will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I'll move the sun to the ocean And let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried decided that running a wood stove in this house would be a great option for heating for us this year. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know the transformation that this room has gone through. Horrible, irreparable hardwood floors, holes in the ceilings and walls, there was no trim on the windows, although the windows were new, and this room has just overcome so many obstacles over the past couple of months, but I think we're finally at a point where we can now call this room almost done, other than some DIYs that we have planned to actually work on this week in this space. We want to add just a few more things to make this space incredibly cozy and Philip and I have ordered a new rug for this space because now that we have the wood stove there and the tile coming out into the living room, the original rug that we ordered the size no longer fits the layout template of the living room floor. So we're excited to show you, hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes pretty quickly and we can get it into this space because we've really just finally anchored down exactly what type of style we want to work on to go out throughout the entire house. And as we start moving into bigger, more impactful rooms of the house, like our kitchen and a huge laundry pantry room, and then heading our way upstairs, we really, this was the imperative time for us to make sure we knew exactly what direction we were gonna go with some of these projects. And we're loving having our wood stove. Overall, we think we made the best decision for the situation for having a really nice warm heating in this house. And we're excited to actually be putting in a second wood stove when we start working onto that kitchen room, which isn't going to be in the location in the house that you guys think it's going to be in. So there's a little few surprises coming your way in terms of the renovations. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for cheering us on. We hope you had an amazing holiday. We took a bit of a break over the Christmas break to spend time with the boys home and we hope that you had a great new year. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on tomorrow's video.